Kentucky Forest Leadership Program is, it's a week-long residential program. We have students who choose forestry, we have students who choose wildlife, and then we have students who choose entomology. But it's a program for high school students that's designed to educate them about um, Kentucky's environment and our natural resources as well as the management of those resources. It's a, a collaborative program by University of Kentucky's uh, Department of Forestry and Natural Resources and Entomology Extension Units and the Kentucky Division of Conservation as well as the Kentucky Division of Forestry. It's a hands-on program. Um, there is, of course, some introduction that must be done in a classroom-style setting. In 1938, and it still produces this year, it was $1.1 billion designated for wildlife in the United States. But for the most part, it's done out in the field, and that's the way it's designed to be done. Uh, the students are broken up into um, whatever their area of concentration. They choose that, and they will work in those concentrated areas throughout the week, but then all come back together as a one big team. We're not doing our inventory at this point. What we're doing is setting our points in to come back to later on and conduct our actual forest inventory where we actually count and measure our trees, look at our vegetation profiles, and make our different determinations of whether we're going to cut the tree, leave the tree for sustainability or for income. The forestry students are going to start at the beginning with the basics of tree identification because they're going to need to identify uh, the resource, those trees that are out there in the forest. Then they're going to be out with their forester because they work closely with foresters at the Kentucky Division of Forestry, um, learning how to measure that forest. First, they're going to record what kind of species, then they're going to record diameters, how big these trees are out there so they can kind of get an idea of the species and how much volume of wood or by species is out there. Um, they're also going to learn with that forester to look at trees and see which trees look like they might be under stress, which trees um, are super healthy, um, and learn some of those while they're out in the field with the forester. The students that are focusing on the wildlife track, um, they're going to be out with a wildlife biologist. Um, they're going to be the ones who are going to tell the group what kind of wildlife is out here in the forest. And they're going to do this by setting up um, small Sherman traps. These are all live traps and everything, just to see what kind of animals might be out there. Um, but their favorite thing is setting up the trail cams. Another camera that we put up last night next to the dumpster, and we cut, recorded a raccoon going in and out the dumpster and such. Imagine that. Yeah. <laughs> Trash pandas. Yeah. Um, they're going to set up trail cams and go out every morning and check to see what kind of wildlife have, have walked past this camera. And they do this on a daily basis out in the forest that they're working in. Students that have chosen the entomology um, concentration, they're going to be out with the entomologist who's Blake Newton. But one of our goals here is to show that we can use the macroinvertebrates that we find to tell us a little bit about water quality. So whenever water quality changes, when it becomes bad, for instance, um, the macroinvertebrates are one of the first things to respond. A lot of their work happens at night in the dark. They're gonna set up um, lights to help attract insects in, and then that way they're learning about what kind of insects are out in that forest. And they also, while they're learning about the insects and how to preserve them and make collections, they're learning about how beneficial insects are, not just the negative about insects. Because while we do have problem insects, many, many of our insects are very beneficial. I set up, um my, the ballast that runs off my generator and I wired it all up and asked some farmers for their generators before I came <laughs> and it all happened to come together and it's all actually working so I'm really happy about that. So each one of these areas of concentration there's learning about the trees in the forest, learning about the wildlife, learning about the, uh, the insects in the forest, and as I said, they all come back together into these resource management teams. Our group is called Environmental Excellence, and we will be your consulting firm. Um, my name is Leah Bollinger. I'm an entomologist. Hi, uh, we are the consulting firm Wood, Water, and Wings Incorporated. I'm the CEO, Katie Wilding. Because ultimately what, they've, what they're going to do is um, they've collected this data, um, then they're going to write a resource management plan for a landowner based on a fictional landowner's desire of what they want done out in that forest. The, that harvest was about 30 years ago. They didn't cut everything down. Um, they called it a selective harvest. Each one of the groups is assigned a, a landowner that has certain criteria that they want 
this piece of property, this piece of forest out there to um, to do for them. You know, as we've got forestry, wildlife, and entomology, um, they'll all come back together again to write that resource management plan for that landowner. If you'd like to learn more about attending the Kentucky Forest Leadership Program, contact Lori Thomas or visit our website. Now, now turn it, turn, 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 turn. Yeah!